Hola, hola, hello. to the hotel. Ah, excuse me. What is going on beautiful people? Welcome back to Funnel Heads. Today we're going to be discussing the six zones on the Carnival Celebration, which of course will be the newest Carnival Cruise Line ship as it debuts towards the end of the year. Now Carnival just released the Gateway Zone just a few days ago and everybody was really excited to see, you know, what this area features, but I thought it would be a great idea to revisit some of the other zones and just compare them to, you know, what the area Area would be on the Carnival Mardi Gras and how they differ. But first, before we get into the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the Coach Cruise channel. We have been big supporters since day one on his channel and vice versa. He's been supporting us as well. We kind of throw ideas back and forth at one of uh, you know one another and uh, really just been motivating each other. And he is coming up on the huge YouTuber milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so I highly recommend you going over to his channel Channel, checking out some of his videos subscribe if you like what you see he is doing the Caribbean this summer on the Mardi Gras and I believe the Vista of course we're doing Alaska so you can get both best of both worlds by subscribing so just go over check it out say hello tell him Andrew from Funnelhead sent you and uh, you know we would love to help him achieve that milestone hopefully he already has it you know by the time you head over there but let's get right into today's video starting off with the first zone and that is Celebration Central. Now this is very similar to the Carnival Mardi Gras Grand Central. If you've cruised on the Mardi Gras, the Celebration Central will make quite an impression, which is great because it will be the first zone that you come across. Think of this area as the new atrium or the heartbeat of the ship as we like to call with floor to ceiling windows. This area features of course center stage that has rotating like entertainment. You can also grab an amazing cocktail from the Tropical bar that has nods to Carnival's history or the Aquarius bar that highlights Carnival Victory's ocean theme mural. Several venues can also be found here as well like the Java Blue Cafe, Bonsai Sushi, Piano Bar 88, and the very famous Punchliner Comedy. Now moving right along, Zone 2, you have the Gateway, which of course Carnival just revealed a few short days ago if you're watching this as the video debuts. Now this area is basically French Quarter on the Mardi Gras, um, but this zone makes international flavor not just an expression. This zone has theme nights including Abroad in Europe, Far East Voyage, and Mexico Lindo. You can also get drinks at Latitudes, with old school rail station vibe. The Golden Jubilee features amazing mixed drinks and live music. And of course the fan favorite is back, the Alchemy, Alchemy Bar Returns, which has become a staple on Carnival cruise ships. You will also find the fun shops in this zone as well as the very delicious Emeralds Bistro 1397. Now the third zone we're gonna discuss is Summer Landing, which absolutely was our favorite zone on the Carnival Mardi Gras and it returns right here on the Carnival Celebration. Uh, this zone has a little bit of something for everyone, whether it's you know good food at Pig & Anchor Smokehouse Brewhouse, drinks at Pig and Anchor, drinks at the Watering Hole, which is an outside bar venue. Uh, you also have live music, plenty of games throughout, uh, ice cream, the Heroes Tribute Sports Lounge, which honors, of course, military personnel, past and present. But the X factor for this area is definitely the aft 
swimming pool as well as the hot tubs throughout loungers and the great thing is you know we were on the carnival mardi gras three times and every time we went to summer landing that pool area just didn't seem you know busy uh anytime we went so hopefully that's the case on the carnival celebration as well but fantastic area and we're really looking forward uh, to it coming back on the celebration. The fourth zone that we're going to discuss is 820 Biscayne, which is basically La Piazza on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Now, the 820 Biscayne zone honors the original headquarters of Carnival in Miami, where it all got started. This zone features Bar 820 that delivers tropical cocktails and Cuban coffee. Uh, if you're looking for food, look no further than Deco Deli, uh, which of course is the deli on board, Miami Slice, your new pizza place. Now, if you're looking for specialty dining in this zone, look no further than Cucina del Capitano, the Italian family style specialty restaurant, as well as Rudy's Seafood. Now, zone number five is the Lido zone, which if you've ever sailed on a carnival ship, even just one time, you know exactly where the Lido zone is going to be. However, on the XL class ships, they definitely stepped up this zone big time, starting with the Red Frog Tiki Bar that now spans two decks, just like the Mardi Gras. If you get hungry, look out for Street Eats, a food truck concept where you can get tons of different finger foods on the go. You'll also have everyone's fan favorite, Guy's Burger, Blue Iguana Cantina, Seafood Shack, The Buffet, and of course our absolute favorite new spot, Big Chicken absolutely delicious now after you get food and drink why don't you treat yourself with unlimited ice cream whether it be ice cream or yogurt at swirls also on the lido deck you will have all of your parties whether it's sail away parties mega deck parties live music whether it's steel bands or solo artists djs as well as movie under the stars this is an area where you will be often on your cruise now the last zone zone six on the carnival celebration is the ultimate playground which is the same name on the carnival mardi gras but this zone has something for everyone and you can spend days there without ever getting bored choose from bolt the first roller coaster at sea Carnival Waterworks that has a splash area for the kids, smaller water slides for the kids, and three exhilarating water slides for adults. And once you had enough of the water park, head over to Sports Square where it features mini golf, basketball, ropes course, and so, so much more. Now we are so excited to experience the Carnival Celebration and we cannot wait to see her up close and personal. But I wanna know in the comment section below, you know, what are you looking forward to the most on the celebration is it a zone restaurant activity entertainment food what is it that you know gets you really excited about getting on the ship are you booked on the celebration or are you booked on the carnival jubilee which will be coming out next year i want to know all the details in the comment section as always thank you so much for all the support like comments sharing the video with family and friends and of course subscribing to the channel joining our funnel head family thank Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see you here right back here in the next video or on a cruise ship one day. Catch you later.
life and he could give to somebody God take care of him. I quit school, it's what I did. Why are you sad? Because we're Christians. We don't want to be Because why? I can't hear you. Cruise ship left? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. But I, I really wanted to go on it. What's going on, people? Welcome back to Fun Wedge.